All right, hello, my name is Christopher Helock. I am a high school social studies teacher. Uh, my license is specifically a teaching license in that it's secondary education, social studies, and it is specific to the state of Pennsylvania. And so after the prerequisites that were required to graduate from college, uh, it took me about a month or two afterwards to then uh, secure my license. And how to do that was I have to take an, you have to take an exam that's focused on the content specifically for social studies. If you get a certain score, you then have your license. Um, and now this is a little different than other licenses. Um, I'm unaware of um, if you have to renew it every so many years. I do not believe you have to. I do know though that to retain that license throughout your educational career, once you secure a full-time job, you are then required to continue to educate yourself. So that is in the requirements of so many, you know, uh, faculty meeting certain hours, um, that is so many credits over a certain period of time then to retain your license. And then every so many years, you then have to continue doing that to kind of uh, retain your license. So it's probably a little bit different than other licenses. I do potentially would be interested in uh, moving to other states. Um, some states do accept other uh, PA teaching licenses, some do not. It really depends on even the county or the school district or uh, the state um, PA educators are, we have a great education program here in our colleges. So PA educators are very sought after. So it is accepted in a lot of states compared to maybe other states, but some states do not accept it. Um, I was a little bit fearful of uh, taking the exam simply because big standardized tests do kind of scare me a little bit. And I haven't always done the best kind of like on the SATs as much as I wanted to. So it was a little bit scary, but once I took it, I, I passed it the first time and I did feel fine. Um, I was kind of aware that the license is separate, separate from the college curriculum that I did have to go out and secure a teaching license. Both my parents are teachers. So through the years, it has been explained to me what it's like to be a teacher. However, kind of, again, when I went into college, I was a little bit unaware that uh, the license was not part of the curriculum or that even at least one class was not working towards that. That was something you entirely had to do on your own. So I was kind of about aware about that. Um, I do feel that the license is important to have simply because college and at least in my experience at Penn State was that college was more to me about how to be become a teacher just in general. So a lot of my classes were ed psych classes in which I was understanding how students learn, how our brains develop. So that was obviously different than what I think a lot of people think it is in that it is content focused. Don't get me wrong, I did have content classes, especially in my early years, but a lot of the major classes, those were not about history or anything social studies related, but simply how to teach social studies specifically. I do believe that the requirements are sufficient at the moment. Now, five years from now, you I could easily change my opinion on that. Um, but at this moment, I am perfectly fine with the requirements. I would not change anything about the license. Again, at this time, I can't really make an opinion on that. Uh, I do believe that the prerequisites and the, like, the hours that you need to become a teacher are sufficient. Uh, in my experience as a teacher, I had multiple shadowing experiences even before I became a student teacher. Those were in very diverse schools, uh, about three different schools and different levels of interaction with students. And then of course, student teaching, which in my opinion was the most important out of all my college classes. Uh, really, I think that's the one that really prepared me to be a teacher without that. I would not have been able to do that. I do think it is important, kind of like I was saying earlier, to continue to educate yourself as a teacher. When it comes to something specifically like social studies, um, look in, if we look at current events, we, you know, the way we perceive history, even though history may not have changed in the past, the way we perceive it tends to change over time depending on new information that's discovered, new voices, or just kind of like re-evaluating re um, certain figures in history. So I do believe it's important to continue to educate ourselves. You know, new political science theories come out, new economic theories. So I do believe it's very important. 
I do have mixed feelings on if all states should accept the same teaching license or if it should be based off of a specific state in that I haven't landed a full-time job yet. So therefore, if my license was able to be secured in every single state, it would obviously make it easier for me to secure a job. However, at the same time, each state's history is different. You know, Pennsylvania and New Jersey or Pennsylvania and New York, even though they're neighbors, they're two very different states. And then you go on an even bigger level, anywhere from like a northern state to a southern state or east versus west, um, certain states with different demographics. I do believe it's important to, when it comes specifically to history and just social studies in general, to know a lot about that state. So I do have mixed feelings on that. Um, when asked about if I do believe there should be reforms made for the uh, prerequisites for the license, et cetera. Um, I don't feel knowledgeable enough in this area to properly answer this question. I do believe that there's always room for improvement, especially maybe if there's certain people that have not been able to secure licenses that probably should. I do believe it's plausible that there could be reforms, but again, that's the best answer I can give at this moment. And then to wrap things up, uh, how is COVID-19 uh, affected my license and my career. Um, I do believe that schools have been one of the biggest things that have been affected, specifically if you look at what's going on right now. Um, everyone else's jobs are pretty much starting to go back to go, going back to normal versus education in the fall. We are, you know, a month out from it and we still don't know what's going to happen. You know, everything's changing week to week. So back in March when the pandemic hit and the quarantine began, we did go 100% from in-person education to online instruction. And that was a big change for not only uh, the students, but also for the teachers. We had to learn a lot of new programs, learn just new methods of teaching. So, uh, I do believe that this is going to affect me in a positive way. Um, it's shown me unorthodox ways of uh, education, uh, working around different schedules, flexible learning, more online stuff. Um, I do believe that, you know, what effects this is gonna have on not only education as a whole, students, teachers, only time is gonna be able to tell. I think it is very possible that we could be seeing some very negative effects. We could also see some very positive effects from this, but definitely COVID has really shaken things up. And so it's been definitely a very interesting time for me to enter education uh, during all this. So I do hope this was helpful in you under better understanding what it's like to be a teacher, how to secure a teaching license and just stuff like that. So thank you very much.